guys, it's Fantasy Sports Girl Andrea with the first set of games behind us. It's time to suit up for another week of fantasy action. Let's get your roster ready by checking out the waiver wires to see who's hot and who's not. Mike Bell had been stone cold since his rookie year, but those days are over. New Orleans turned to Bell when Thomas went out, and he responded with 147 yards and 28 carries. Thomas may return Sunday, but Bell's earned a spot in the Saints rotation and on your roster. Cadillac Williams was a sweet story going into week one, and he's a legit fantasy play coming out. If Williams can run for 97 yards and a touchdown against the Cowboys, you have to like his chances against a Bills squad that's missing its middle linebacker. Nobody was expecting much value from Baltimore's aerial attack, but Mark Clayton's changing that. The Ravens surprised everyone by firing 43 passes against the Chiefs, which is a sign of things to come. Clayton had 77 yards and a touchdown on Sunday and is a great ad. The fantasy girl tipped Julius Jones before the season, but it's not too late to get on board. With Hasselbeck healthy, the Seahawks' balanced attack paved the way for JJ's 136-yard, one TD week, one performance. Look for more of that against the tasty slate of Niners, Bears, Colts, and Jacks. For the guys who are cooling off, let's start with Peyton Hillis. Yes, the Broncos are going with a committee, but Hillis isn't on it. Denver is happy to rotate Buck Halter and Moreno, so Hillis just doesn't have value. Hakeem Nix was getting heat at the start of the season, but he's cooled off dramatically. After a great camp, the Giants rookie ended his first game on crutches. Although his foot's not broken, he should be out of action and off your roster for a couple of weeks. That's all I've got for now, so get back to work and remember to check out more videos at FantasySportsGirl.com.